In this video, we are going to set up some of your preferences in Sprout Studio. I've got my account pulled up here and we're gonna hop right into settings in the bottom left corner here. We're going to click account and then preferences. And we're just gonna basically walk through some of these options here. Starting at the top here, you can specify whether you want Sprout to display and calculate things based on miles or kilometers. Now for the kilometers or miles, you can specify how much you want Sprout to factor in for writing things off. Now that's just useful for the mileage report. Sprout can tell you, hey, you have approximately this much that you can write off. So I'm just gonna put 80 cents per kilometer for my write-off amount here. Next thing down here, we have measurement unit, inches or centimeters, and then time zone. You can choose your time zone there. Moving on down, we're gonna choose the default payment settings. So we're gonna choose uh, Canadian here because we are a Canadian company and I run a Canadian photography business, so I'm gonna keep that there. But of course, you can choose whichever currency you need to run there. We're gonna have the default payment term. So that is when you create an order or when you create a booking proposal or a booking page, by default, when do you want your invoices to be due? Now, of course, you can customize and tweak that per order and per booking page and per booking proposal, but this is just the default. Down here, the other defaults are for booking proposals. What do you want the default expiry to be? So you want that maybe to be four days or you want it to be three days or five days, whatever makes sense for you. And then same thing here for the gallery. When do you want your galleries to be expiring by default? And the next option here is kind of one that trips some people up sometimes. This is the gallery auto favorite submission. So basically when your client is in the front end of their gallery, and they're favoriting their images, there is a way for them to actually click a button and submit them to you so that it, they have to explicitly do that and send them into you. And then you'll get a notification saying, hey, the client has submitted these. If you want that to happen automatically in case your client doesn't see them or in case your client doesn't click that button, do you want Sprout to automatically submit those once the gallery becomes inactive for a certain period of time? Then Sprout can do that or you can turn it off if you want to explicitly wait for your clients to submit those. Down here we have some outgoing email options. We have email tracking that you can turn on or off, which basically allows you to see whether or not your client has opened the email. And we have email clicks, which allows you to track whether or not a client has clicked on a link within an email. Now just be aware that by having these on, it decreases your chance of getting into your client's inbox. Now that has nothing to do with Sprout. That is just how email works. So if you're concerned about emails getting to your client's inbox and not being filed away as spam, my recommendation is to actually keep those off. As great as those features are, as much as we love features like that, it does introduce a little bit of concern when it comes to email deliverability. So you might want to keep those off. Now the other option down here is if you want to automatically blind carbon copy yourself on all outgoing emails, you can, and you can specify what email address gets BCC'd on, or you can just leave that off. And that's how you set up your preferences in Sprout Studio.